Welcome to the Fruitful Life. I found it. The secret formula to finding your style. You know, when you speak to most artists who have a very recognizable style, and you ask them how did they find their style, it's usually a very vague and ambiguous answer. Like, uh, put in the R's and your style will come to you. And that can be very frustrating for somebody who's trying to find their style. And I struggled with finding my style for a very long time. So the question is, what is style and how do we develop it? So let's look at style. Style is basically a series of choices, artistic choices that you make to develop your work. And so these choices involve four key elements. Element one is your lines. So the line work of your art. Number two is the shapes you use within your art. Number three is the textures you create. And number four is the colors. And so the combination of these four elements makes up every artistic style there is in the world. So it's just a question of how much of each element you put into your specific style or your specific artwork. So here are some examples. When you look at the work of Chantal Martin, her style is primarily focused on online work. When you look at Amber Victoria's work, her style is mainly focused in on shape and color and tone and a little bit of texture. When we look at someone like uh, Steve Harrington, his work is a combination of color, line, shape and tone. So it's a combination of all four at a variety of levels. Now that we understand that style is made up of these four key elements, the question is how do we make the necessary choices to create our unique style? This is where the formula comes in for finding or developing your own style. There are four chapters in how to develop your style formula. Chapter one is identity. I believe style is the bridge between who we are and what we want to say. So by taking the time to dig into your past and figure out your own identity and what are the things that make you tick plays a vital role in discovering or developing your style. Ask yourself questions like, who am I? What is my child? What was my childhood like? What are some of the influences that are unique to me? What is some of the personality that I want to put into my work? And the other big part of identity is figuring out what is your voice like or finding your why. And so for myself, my why is to bring joy and encouragement in everything I do. So this then becomes a through line for the art that I create. When I look at my own style, I, this happened quite subconsciously. I didn't really think about it, but the color palette I've chosen to use tends to feature ochres, yellows, reds and oranges and these are not tones you naturally find in Ireland these are very much tones from India where I'm originally from and so they're reminiscent of a busy marketplace or some of the warmer tones of a sunny summer day whereas in Ireland the tones tend to be a lot more blues and greens and so if you look at my work, there's a combination of these two that intersect with each other and are now my unique color palette. By taking the time to identify what makes you tick and what makes you unique, this then becomes a vital, essential ingredient in developing your style. Chapter two in finding your style comes down to looking at what inspires you. And don't just look at the visual elements such as other illustrators or other artists. Think bigger. What are the things in the world that inspire you? They could be architectural, they could be musical, they could be fashion-based. And so taking those elements that inspire you, develop a mood board for yourself. This then starts to inform your aesthetic, the things that interest you, the things that you are excited about. 
and taking elements from that or featuring elements from that that excite you then becomes an integral part of your own stylistic choices. So for instance, I love fashion, I love street style, and so the stylistic colorful clothes tend to feature a lot on uh, my characters. Same with the types of sneakers that I draw. Chapter three is imitation. Like Austin Kleon says in his book, Steal Like an Artist, what a good artist understands is that nothing comes from nowhere and all creative works build on what comes before. Nothing is completely original. And isn't that a relief? We all start with imitation. This is how we learn. If you think back to when you were a kid, you learned how to walk, talk, eat, interact with people based on your imitation of your siblings or your parents or the people that fostered you. And the same goes for your artistic styles and talent. And so we all begin by imitating our heroes, the people we are most inspired by. But as time goes on, we need to evolve that imitation. So if you look back in my own work, in my own artistic journey, back in 2015, I was hugely inspired by Macbeth and by Gerard Human, And that sort of informed the stylistic approach I had to my work. I tended to draw in black and white and I used a lot of stippling. But if you look at it, I took stylistic elements from Gerard Human. I took stylistic elements from Macbeth and it was a combination of the two that developed that specific style at that specific time period. Beginning by imitating their works gives you a sense of what you like, what you dislike. You, you start to analyze their work and start combining elements that you like and dislike. And this leads me to chapter four, which is innovation. So your own style is going to be uh, a jigsaw puzzle of these various elements. So a sense of your identity, some of your inspiration, some of your imitation in combination creates a new innovation, which is your style. So this is the secret formula to finding your unique style. Start with your identity, look at your inspiration, begin by imitation, and then finish with innovation. Once you've done the four of those in combination of your choices around line, shape, texture, and color, you will find your unique style. So I hope you find this helpful. Be true, be you, stay fruitful. Thanks for watching.